Welcome to this video. This video explains how we could predict onset of cracking in abacus using contour integrals. Onset of cracking can be studied in quasi-static problems and needs focused meshes around the crack tip. You can find the method of creating a special mesh around crack tip in our previous video. In this video, we've explained how we could create a special mesh around the crack tip and how we design meshes in other regions of the part. Please notice that we cannot predict the propagation of a crack in this type of simulations. For prediction of onset of cracking, we can request various contour integrals including J integral, CT integral, stress intensity factors, and T stress. In the case that we request stress intensity factors, we can also predict the direction of the propagation of the crack. We can request contour integrals in two or three dimensional problems when we are using Abacus standard. By requesting contour integrals, the solution procedure doesn't change and only some outputs are added to the ODB file. The J integral is a parameter that is widely accepted as a quasi-static indicator of onset of cracking in linear problems. Also, this parameter can be used in non-linear material with some limitations. The J integral is used in rate-independent problems and characterize the energy release associated with crack growth as you can see in this formula. Also this parameter can be related to stress intensity factors in linear problems. The J integral should be independent of the path or domain of calculation. Sometimes in our simulation we can see a slight difference for different paths. The slight difference is acceptable because of the approximate nature of the finite element solution. But a strong variation in J integral, which called domain dependency or counter dependency, indicates an error in the counter integral definition. Gradual variation in this parameter may indicate that we should use a finer mesh for the problem or the counter integral domain doesn't completely include the plastic zone. In problems which include time-dependent creep behavior, we can use CT integral as an alternative for J integral. We can also request stress intensity factors for various modes of crack loading in Abacus software. They are known as K1, K2 and K3 related to different modes of crack loading. When we request a stress intensity factor, we can also predict crack propagation direction. There are three criteria in the abacus to predict the direction of crack propagation. In the first criterion, it is assumed that the crack propagate in the direction that the maximum tangential stress happens. We can use this formula based on K1 and K2 to calculate the angle between the crack propagation direction and the crack plane. In the next criterion, it is assumed that the crack propagate in a direction that the maximum energy release rate happens. And in the last criterion, crack propagates in the direction that K2 is equal to zero. Finally, we can also request T stress in a quasi-static analysis of a crack. The T stress represents a stress parallel to the crack face. This parameter can alter the size and shape of the plastic zone. Also, this parameter can alter the stress reactivity ahead of the crack tip. So, this parameter is a useful indicator that whether our measures like J integral are useful or not. Now we can go to the Abacus environment and request all of these counter integrals in an example. In our previous video, we have explained how we can create a special mesh around crack tip and also how to control mesh in remained regions of the part. Now we request all the counter integral in this video. We have requested J integral in our previous video by five counters. Now we add the T-stress control by picking crack 
and also setting the number of counters to be 5. Please notice that CT integral only can be used for problems with creep behavior. The next step, we request K factors. We pick correct one more time and the number of counters is 5 and we choose a stress intensity factors. As we have explained before, there are three different criteria to predict correct propagation direction when we request a stress intensity factors. Now we have defined all possible outputs including contour integrals and correct propagation direction and we run the problem one more time. We have two different ways to extract our requested outputs. We can go to the visualization module and plot history outputs which contains different integrals. Also it includes correct propagation direction. We can find K1, K2 and TS stress and J integral in history output. Another way is to use DAT file. In this file, we can find all of these parameters. Here are J integrals from five different paths which are close to each other. And then K factor, K1 and K2 which are also close together and then angle between the correct propagation direction and the correct plane. Here we also have calculated J from K factors which is close to the J integral value. And finally we have T stress values here. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video was helpful Please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.